think we need to have a very honest, robust, and collective conversation about how to redesign our country to work better because it is not working very well. I want to assure Nigerians that the APC True Federalism Report is the position of the party. No one disagrees with it. The president fully supports it. The vice president, who is a lawyer, you know, endorsed everything there. And um, what we have said is we don't need an executive bill from the president or from the Federal Executive Council to start action on these bills. Any member of the National Assembly can take any of the bills in our report and sponsor it as a private member bill. And I can assure you in the next uh, month or so, you will see some of that starting because some of them have come to me and said we are going to start working on some of this. Now we have 36 days. Whether a president likes it or not, he must have 36 ministers. Absurd, okay? But it is still the same logic of distribution that created federal character, created the cut-off scores for jump and so on. I am from the northern states. For the past 30 years, we've been called educational disadvantaged. Okay? We are giving lower cut-off scores to catch up. Have we caught up? <laughs> it has only made people lazy. So. I'm sorry, madam. You know, I'm sorry. I don't think we should, hide, we should hide behind fairness and say that we, everyone must be equal. The best we can do is to give people equal opportunity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today, we live in a country in which for federal government colleges, entrance exam, or JAMP, one state has a cutoff of X, and another state has a cutoff of 10 times X, and you say you are building a nation. You are not. You are creating bitterness from the grassroots.